similar to d value that we discussed in another tutorial z value is an important parameter that we should get an understanding of for designing thermal processes for foods z value describes the influence of temperature on the decimal reduction time d for microbial populations z is the increase in temperature that is necessary to cause a 90 percent reduction in the decimal reduction time d now recall that d value is obtained at a constant temperature so if we plot d values against temperature that is if we get d values at different temperatures and we plot them on a semi log paper then the temperature change for one log cycle reduction in the d value will give us the z value so let's see that on a semi log paper so we have a semi log paper here y axis is the log scale and the x axis is the regular scale we have a temperature for the x axis and uh, d values uh, that are plotted on the y axis so if we obtain d values at different temperatures and identify those points on the uh, semi log plot we will find that the d values will follow a straight line uh, so we draw a straight line uh, that passes through those points and then if we identify a one log cycle reduction let's say from 10 to 1 and uh, on the chart we obtain the change in temperature that will represent that one log cycle reduction and this uh, change in temperature is the z value now let's see how we can determine z value using a spreadsheet so let's say that we are given data on d values in minutes for different temperatures uh, from 102 to 118 degrees celsius and the d values changing from 28.5 minutes to 3.1 minutes so we will use a spreadsheet and first we will enter the data in columns a and b as we see here and then in column C we will determine the log of D values and uh, so we will enter in cell C2 uh, equal sign and then log and then in parentheses B2 that is the cell that contains the uh, D value and we obtain thus the log of that D value and then we copy and paste that formula in the remaining cells of that column so now we have three columns and uh, we are interested in plotting log D versus temperature so we select column A and then by keeping our control key pressed on a PC we click on column C so that allows us to highlight both column A and C and then we insert a uh, chart and we select scatter plot and uh, then when we release the mouse key we get the plot on the spreadsheet and we have the data points of log D versus temperature the next thing we will do is uh, click on one of these points and press the uh, right mouse button uh, to obtain a dialog box and we select add trend line and then in the trend line options we select linear and we also click in the box for display equation on chart as well as display the regression coefficients on the chart that will allow us to get the equation for that straight line and uh, next we can find out then the z value which will be negative of 1 over the slope 
that we obtain from this chart. So in any of the cells here, we enter equal sign to do the calculation. So we have equal, then minus 1 over then in parentheses the slope, the slope value from the trend line is minus 0 0.0603 that gives us the result as 16.58 or 16.6 .6 degrees Celsius that is the Z value for these data. So this is the procedure for the Z value by using a spreadsheet. Again note that the z value from this plot is obtained as negative of 1 over the slope that we obtain from the trend line. You may want to review the other tutorial where we had a very similar procedure if you had a question on why we are using negative of the inverse of slope to find out the z value.